So I think that it's bigger than me question uh, and is something that's really important for everyone to explore. And I'm at a very fortunate stage. I mean, I had <laughs> businesses for 14 years, none of which ever did anything. They were all quite one dimensional. I had kind of three staff and, you know, a lot of freelancers. And now with the collective, there are no limits in terms of geographically or extensions or in the, there is absolutely no limit. And we could have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of staff and probably will. So it has to be bigger than me. Now, as an entrepreneur, many of us are by nature control freaks. <laughs> so, you know, after 12 years of controlling, I've had to very happily, you know, hand over the reins. But there's a couple of things that I'll say around that. Um, it's really important to have systems and processes and, you know, we have now an executive team that um, is answerable to me and, you know, I have a CFO who keeps all the numbers and everything kind of flowing. But What's really important is that you step into a position uh, that you're really strong at. So for me, my ultimate role will be creative director within the next six months. I will bring a CEO in. I'm great at building a five to $10 million business. I'm not great or the right person to build a 50 to $100 million business. I'm just not, we will go under. So, so I think it's all about hiring your weaknesses. That's something that I've had to become very, very clear on. What I will say about that is don't lose control. I hear so many people time and time again say they bring investors in or they bring you know lots and lots of staff in and suddenly they're not at the helm, which is okay, but they're not necessarily driving the thing, uh, uh, what, you know, why you started it in the first place. So for example, one of the things that I've really jumped back in on in the last few months and you might have noticed is the covers. So uh, two issues ago, I put a woman with her back on the cover. Now, none of my staff would have done that. They don't quite think like that. So I went out the back two days before we went to print, print and ripped a very well-known celebrity off the cover and said, I am over it. This isn't about freaking celebrities. This is about the ordinary person. It's about the entrepreneur. Give me someone's back. Now that issue, that was a risk, you know, and I wrote about it authentically in my editor's letter, but that issue has sold 35% more than our next selling issue, which was Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> that was a nice coup. So I think it's really important to, uh, as the founder, to stay there with the passion and the heart and the why, but, you know, let go of everything else. I'm crap at operations and I'm crap at finance and I'm crap at so many things, detail, terrible. So, you know, don't be afraid to hand that off, but stay at the center of whatever it is that kind of is the reason you started in the first place.